What's going on, you guys? Kim on the camera here. Bridget was here. Right there. And today is Wednesday. And today, I wanted to do something a little different. I wanted to talk about something that everybody's been wondering about. The Angry Grandpa Show. And I'm not talking about our YouTube. I'm talking about the reality show that never happened. So last week I was doing a Q&A and while I was sorting through all the questions, I noticed this one. And honestly, it's not something that I really wanted to answer on a Q&A because I wanted to do the question justice. I wanted to answer it the right way because I know a ton of people have been wondering about it. So for those of you that don't know, Angry Grandpa, me and Bridget all tried everything we could to get you guys an Angry Grandpa reality show. Unfortunately, the problem is every time we took a meeting with somebody, something happened and everything blew up in our faces. So the first time that we ever had a discussion about an Angry Grandpa reality show was in late 2010 after we were on True TV. It looks like Grandpa has a soft spot after all. Or maybe not. Thank you for the end of the wine, Shut up. <laughs> you just shut up and take it. I've had it. You know what you can do? You kiss my fat ass, all right? Hey, I'm sorry. Grandpa was on a ton of true TV shows like Most Shocking and Top 20 Most Daring, and apparently we caught the eye of somebody because they wanted to do a show. And I gotta be honest, we were freaking excited. Right, like, yes. we were as poor as it gets, and this was the possibility of actually having a little bit of money for the first time in our lives. When I tell you we was lit, <laughs> you got no idea. We could not wait to do an Angry Grandpa show. So I started to have these private conversations with people over at True TV, and they would ask me questions like, you know, is your dad interested in a reality show? Is he actually as crazy as he looks on the videos? Like, is this something you guys would be into? And every time I'm like, yes, 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 hell yes. We want money. <laughs> We're broke. Yes to everything you said. After a bunch of conversations, I started talking to a woman over at True TV who told me she was an executive. And I'm like, okay, this looks like something might actually be happening. And the first thing that the lady tells me is she wants to talk to the man himself. So we downloaded Skype. And let me just say it right now before you hear the story, Grandpa totally sabotaged the internet. At first, everything was totally going to plan, man. Dad had everybody laughing. He was showing his ass. He was talking shit. It was fun. It looked <laughs> like something was finally going to happen. We were so thrilled. We're thrilled because they're finally talking about a pilot. And then they dropped a bomb. See, something that True TV never told me during all of our discussions was the fact that if we did a reality show with them, we couldn't do YouTube anymore. And not only could we not do YouTube anymore, but True TV would take ownership of the YouTube channel that we already created. And that's just disgusting. And honestly, we really didn't understand it. Why, like, why would you want to take away the thing that got us a show to begin with? You guys, when I tell you my dad blew up, <laughs> <laughs> he blew up. Goddamn. They gonna take my goddamn youngest away, man. And, and the goddamn, the, the, the thong, so much I can goddamn take. I don't care who the f you is, you can shove this show up your f You not taking my youngest boy. Get out of my goddamn house! I'm like, Dad, they're not in the house, they're on Skype. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, this is a Skype call, they're not here. I don't get him out of my goddamn house, Mike. I'm there. I'm done. Fuck you. He lost it, he blew up. And honestly, he was right. Yes. Dad knew something that they didn't. See, while they're in traditional television and they think that they're the future of entertainment, Dad realized that they're probably not. You guys are. So we turned down the show. We wanted nothing to do with it. And you gotta take a second to realize where we were in our lives at that time. It's about to be 2011. The final year that we are in Trailwood Trailer Park because it's been sold and it's being turned into a parking lot. We're as poor as it gets and we're not making any money on YouTube. Yeah. And we just turned down the possibility for millions of dollars because he didn't want to lose you guys. Doing this reality show could quite literally save our lives. We didn't have the money to move out of the trailer park and honestly, everybody was kind of talking about it happening. You walk outside and people are saying, hey, you see that notice about Boeing? They're talking about buying the trailer park. And honestly, what was dad gonna do? Oh my God. We had no way to get him out of there. And through all that, dad scared off the only people offering us real money. 
True TV. And guess what? Dad really pissed them off because they never talked to any of us again. <laughs> that was the last time Dad was on True TV. They never darkened my doorstep again. True TV <laughs> wanted nothing to do with us. And I guess you can't blame them, right? Oh, Dad yeah. flipped out on Skype with one of their executives. Like, they, want nothing to do, they want nothing to do with us. <laughs> Before True that, TV. talking shit about the crew. Oh, God, yeah, that happened too. I mean, listen, you all heard that story. Oh, God. They already didn't like us. <laughs> I know. Honestly, I never really understood it. You know what I mean? Like, these networks wanted us to alienate the fan base that would have gotten us a reality show to begin with and never upload for them again. If you want to see Grandpa, you got to tune into True TV. And that's just not something that Dad was okay with. It's not something that he was on board with. It's not something that I wanted, yeah. Bridget wanted. None of us wanted to do this because you're not going to take away our fans. You're not going to take the youngins away from Angry Grandpa. On top of that, they heavily implied that the show was going to have to be fake and that somebody was going to be writing it. And I don't know what you guys think, but Grandpa's no actor. <laughs> Let me show you what it looks like when he tries to act. Angry Grandpa Volume 1. Why you gotta look at it? It's just Angry Grandpa. I can't remember, motherfucker. Grandpa here, and I got a video out, and it's called Angry Grandpa Number 2. Volume 1. Hell, us too. This is what me and Bridget look like acting. We are not a family of actors, okay? We're trailer trash and somehow <laughs> lucked into a YouTube family, and for that we are eternally grateful. But we are not actors, okay? No. Especially Dad, especially Bridget, okay? Okay. <laughs> you guys want to see Bridget's acting? Remember when she was on True TV? No, stop. They never aired the interview. Yeah, I know, Michael. She was so bad that they cut it. They were like, we are never airing this. It's in a <laughs> vault. Or buried. I hope it's not. They need to just burn it. I hope one day they air it, dude, because Bridget was horrible on True TV. She is probably the worst actress in the family. Okay, chill. And honestly, that's kind of what happened for the next few years. Grandpa would get a little bit of interest about doing a reality show. We'd sit down with everybody. We'd have a conversation. And then he'd blow up and ruin everything. <laughs> really, we just weren't meant to ever be on reality TV. There's some people that are famous and meant to be on Jimmy Fallon and just dad wasn't one of those people. He couldn't play ball. <laughs> he wasn't into it. I mean, it is better this way though. Uh, well, honestly, like that's the thing that we understood that they didn't. Yeah, like nobody owns us. Nobody owns Angry Grandpa. Nobody owns us as a people. Nobody tells us what we can upload, who we can talk to. That's the rules that we decided for ourselves, yes. and we're afforded that freedom because of you guys. Hell, one time after Grandpa's divorce, he got approached about doing a dating show. <laughs> <laughs> like, the way that it's, <laughs> it's a true story, you guys. They described it as like, angry Grandpa on The Bachelor, or like, the flavor of love or something. Like, they wanted Dad <laughs> to do a dating show, and I'm like, I don't think this is gonna fucking work. <laughs> but you can't do YouTube. Yep, yeah, we couldn't do YouTube. <laughs> we can't do YouTube because Dad's trying to find love. <laughs> Could you imagine Angry Grandpa on a dating show? No. He goes on his first date and he's got to put in his teeth so he can chew the steak. <laughs> and then he rips ass. <laughs> yeah, and then he farts at the table. Then he goddamn. <laughs> goddamn, it's going right to my goddamn stomach. <laughs> stomach. Oh, I'm gonna dinner with this bitch. <laughs> My ass is raw as pizza hammer gonna be. Bad. <laughs> yeah, that show didn't work out either. Obviously. Oh my was, god, right? It was never gonna from the time they pitched it to us. And that's honestly the way it was. We'd get pitched a reality show, Grandpa would ruin it, and nobody would ever talk to each other again. The relationship was strained, <laughs> and there'd be no reality show. That was until 2017. See, now I'm gonna tell you guys a story about the time we were this close from an Angry Grandpa reality show, and then he passed away. So in 2017, I got an email from a company and they were really interested in doing a TV show based around Grandpa. And at the time we were just kind of done having the conversation. Right? Yeah. Like, I'm done with it. Nobody wants to do it the right way. Who cares? Yeah. I don't want you to do a reality show on me or my father or my family because nobody seems to have a grasp on how it should be. These people did. The first thing that we did was we had a sit down meeting with everybody and it went awesome. It was crazy. Dad was blowing up. He was cussing and the guy loved it. Finally, somebody who was into it. We're having a conversation with this guy and one of the first thing dad said was, I ain't giving up my show, bro. I ain't giving up my youngins. I ain't giving up my YouTube. Forget you can get 
off. I ain't doing a goddamn thing. You need to hang up my goddamn now. And I'm like, dude, you're blowing it. You got again. And he was into it. He was like, what? he said the one thing that I was waiting for somebody to say the entire time. This guy looked at us and he said, why would I have you get rid of your YouTube channel? That's what brought you to us to begin with. And I was like, thank God somebody gets it. Right? This guy gets it. So the plan was gonna be, we were gonna get together and build a show around dad that didn't interfere with our YouTube channel. And we had a lot of really cool stuff we were talking about. One of the shows we were gonna do was kind of like an angry grandpa, dirty jobs kind of thing, where dad goes around and he does stinky jobs that nobody else wants to do. <laughs> the angry grandpa way. The second show that we pitched was grandpa opening up a family business and our dysfunctional family trying to run it. That oh, was the God. second one. And honestly, that probably would have been pretty good. Yes, but it would have destroyed the family. The, the family's already <laughs> destroyed. <laughs> True. The fourth idea that we had was actually a little bit too late because somebody actually started doing it. Back in 2014, angry grandpa came up with this idea where he and I go into an RV together and we just tour around the country and meet strange people and get into crazy stuff. And unfortunately, Ozzy Osbourne and his son Jack started doing it. Oh so my God. We couldn't do that show, it was kind of taken. And then finally, we landed on an idea that everybody loved. Something that was gonna change our lives because I'm telling you, it would have been a hit. Now, I really don't wanna talk about this on video because somebody's gonna take it and it's gonna be my idea and they're gonna be millionaires from it and I'm gonna want a executive producer credit because I came up with this thing and I don't like it. But, but guaranteed, you know it won't be as good. It was gonna be the idea that we've all been waiting to do. One of mine and grandpa's favorite shows to watch together was always these home renovation shows. I mean, we would watch Bob Vila when I was in the third grade together and it was just something that we bonded together doing and something that we really enjoyed. And I came up with a TV show about it. The idea was gonna be that me and grandpa buy a house that needs a ton of work. I'm not talking about one episode, I mean for the entire season. The idea was gonna be that the entire family would fix this house up and try to flip it for a profit and dad losing his mind the entire way because there is no way we could all get together as a family and renovate anything in happiness, okay? <laughs> it was not gonna be like, we're strumming a guitar playing kumbaya. You know what I mean? There was gonna be some fist fights. Yes. The twist on the show was gonna be that at the end of the season, after we fix it up, we'd give the house away. And we were gonna call the show Flipping Out with Angry Grandpa. And it never happened. Damn. See, I pitched this idea for a reality show and I was willing to put our own money to do it. I was gonna pay for it myself, buy the house, hire the camera guys, edit it myself if I had to. This show was going to happen and I was gonna see through it to the end. And it sucks because it, it seemed like we finally had it. We finally were doing the thing that we always wanted to do. We get to keep our show and start something else where we can actually give back and fix this house together and then give it to somebody in need at the end of it. And we couldn't do it and we lost it. And I knew that I knew that was gonna be a good idea. I knew people were gonna watch it and they were gonna love it. And as life is, it wasn't meant to be. Yeah, and the show won't be as good with someone else. Right, I mean, I can't do it. Flipping out with Kid Behind the Camera? It's just one of those things where it was an idea built for my father and anybody else doing it, it just won't be the same. Yeah. And it sucks. And it was gonna be the thing that brought us together and then he got sick and died. So dad, I love you. I'm sorry that you never got to see it through. I'm sorry that he didn't get to enjoy his fame as long as he, as long as he did. He couldn't enjoy it a lot longer. Dad was the face of the whole operation and he loved it. And he didn't get to live out his, it just sucks. It does suck. I really wish my dad was still here. I wish we did that show for you guys. I wish that this wasn't a vlog about what could have been instead of what is. And it just, yeah, it's not gonna be something I can ever get over. But guys, that's gonna be it for today. That's the show. That was gonna be the reality show. Flipping out with angry grandpa. And I just, I'm sad that it's never gonna happen. I'm sad that I even set it out into the universe for somebody else to hear. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah. It was, the idea that I never wanted to say out loud, it was just something that I thought of that was just gonna 
Okay, well that's gonna be it for today, you guys. Thanks for watching. I just wanna take a second to tell you thank you. Thank you to everybody who's been here for us since Grandpa passed away. Everybody who stuck with us and watched our videos on a daily basis and still write me and say how much my videos, <clears throat> how much they mean to you. Because I mean, those messages still mean a lot to me because yeah. It means so much that we've been doing this for as long as we have and you still care. And I just wanted you to hear for the first time out loud that we almost had the chance to not have any of this and we wouldn't do it for any amount of money. We didn't even listen to how much they would offer because you guys meant more to us than a TV show. You guys were the lifeblood of our entire operation. Yeah. And it's still that way today. You guys are the reason we do videos. You're the reason that people care everything's because of you so thank you so much we appreciate you more than you know that's gonna be it for today thanks for watching like subscribe favorite follow me on everything but west and that was angry grandpa's failed reality show and the only reason it failed is because we lost it love you guys love you